Hello, I'm Barry James. I'm the head of composites here at the team. So the whole process starts with a pattern. So we get a pattern um, that's machined over in our pattern shop. And that's the surface that we're looking for to come back to. So from that surface there, on each of these two, we make a mould. And the moulds are all carbon fibre. The reason we make them for carbon fibre is we're able to cure them and keep the same stability on the component um, as the mould is. Basically, this mould surface here is representative of the um, lower surface and this of the upper surface. But what we do then, once we've manufactured these two moulds, these will go into the autoclave to be cured. These will be very supple when they're plied up on this surface here. And this basically, once this is cured, you get the solid surface you can work from. Once you've made your mould, in the clean room behind us, the guys basically lay up a specific laminate with a specific cloth and a specific orientation. And they'll manufacture that and we've again, the different freight breaks, different cloths that we use, they'll basically ply these into their mould to make the shape um, onto each surface. Once they've completed that, these two moulds will come together. They'll run some bagging material through the centre of them and these will be bagged and ready for cured. We've got a sample of a component that's bagged just here. What we do with this is basically we take, we take all the air out, all the air's extracted out from the mould surface and extracted out of the bag. What that does is that consolidates all of the prefreg to the mould surface, taking away all of the air and then giving us the perfect surface that we've got from the mould. And then from here, these are loaded in to the autoclave and cured. So all the material that's on here at the moment is still green and supple and once it comes out of the autoclave then it's cured in this state and it's in usable state. When we talk about carbon fibre we often talk about it as a generic, it's a carbon fibre. There's numerous different carbon fibres and there's numerous different resin systems that we use. We've got five harness, we've got plane weave, we've got two by two, we've got a unidirectional and we've got a checkerboard material. And depending on where they go on the car, it basically depends on what sort of resin system and whether it's a lightweight, whether we want tougher resin systems and stiffer materials, all depends. So the back of the car, suspension wise, you'll be looking at stiffer, tougher resins. Um, bodywork wise, where you're looking for light bodywork, you tend to use the checkerboard material. So we're here at the moment, um, around by the autoclave area, um, which are these two large vessels behind us. And basically every component that we manufacture that goes through the department will go through one of these vessels every time. We have another two of these um, on site over in another facility um, and we're looking to increase to five within the next few weeks. So if we go over and have a closer look, basically these two are pressurised ovens. So each component will go in there, they go up to a specific um, temperature depending on what the resin type and the carbon fibre is. Um, and the same with the pressure. Um, if they're a monolithic um, cure, they go up to about 90 pounds of pressure. If they've got other subsequent parts in, they'll go to about 35 psi. Um, and the cure length depends on what resin system that's in there. They can be a cure for an hour or up to about eight hours, depending on the thickness of the laminate that goes into them. So this part here is a rear flap. So this would have started, obviously, its life in these circumstances and then comes to this main part here. So this part here, We'll go to one of our other departments, which is our fitting department, and basically they'll get this fitted out into a jig, end fish, centre element there to be able to pick up. That will be fully inspected to make sure all the services are correct, um, in there, end fish are correct and dimensionally correct. That will then go over to the paint shop, and the paint shop will finish off. And basically that's a section where they're mounted into the rear wing, um, and these are the RFA is used and this has got the mobility on the back of the car. So that's the, sort of the whole process through from a, from a pattern, through to mould, through to component, through to a completed component. The biggest sort of challenges that we face in the composite department is similar to others, is, is times and deadlines that we're given. Um, we tend to push ourselves as well with looking at uh, innovative ideas, um, new techniques and new materials that are out there. They're the sort of next steps to push us into the cutting edge and Composites is always evolving, it never sort of sits still, so it's always good to keep an eye on what everyone else is doing.